15. Ephesians 1 15. We go down a bit from verse 18. Um, and the height of our understanding be enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his um, what is the hope of his calling the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints there is nothing as good as when our eyes of understanding is opened so lord we ask i'm helpless lord i ask for utterance i ask that the reason you want this message to be known to people will be established in our hearts in the mighty name of jesus christ Praise the Lord. Reasons women are referred to as angels or devils. You know, sometimes um, in a relationship, or you have a friend, and the woman or the lady did something that was marvelous and it touched your heart, you will refer her as your angel. There is a God sent, this is an angel of the Lord. And sometimes if the thing goes in an order or opposite direction, they also target that that woman or that lady is a devil. And we know so uh that day I was just doing my prayers and I perceived my spirit to do a teaching concerning um woman or marriage or friendship relationship kind of you know me i don't do teachings like that it's not that i don't know about it but uh, i don't do teachings like that so um let's go there i have uh, seven points to establish this title so we have to pick it one after the other. Uh, women are beautiful beings. They were created to be an ethnic to a man. And um, there was a place, the Bible says, that God took a bone from a man to meet a woman. Or to make the woman so and after taking the bone the Bible said and God closed that place back after he took and create uh, made a woman he closed that part back so um, women they are very beautiful being but sometimes they do some things that you will be thinking why this i'm not really refer this is not just about wives as in women generally why what made her to behave like this what what was going on in her mind and you begin to wonder as a man that could have caused this in the first place why is she reasoning like this? So, and uh, you know, one thing about their support being, if you have a very good friend as a female or lady or as a woman, and uh, she sees your vision and she sees that you're hardworking. Or she says that you love God. Every every lady wants a God fearing man, but they don't also. Uh, they may not even be good themselves, but they want 
Just like everybody wants to go to heaven. Even sinner that have not received Jesus want to go to heaven. <laughs> so, um, because of that, I uh, need to say some things. Why are women behave the way they behave? What caused it? You know? Now, let's go to Genesis before we go to Ezekiel 28. Genesis. Genesis. Um, I want us to pick a particular point and I want you to write it down. You know, Genesis 1 26 and 27, we'll see the word created. God created man, and this man. Uh, was can I say was divided into two male and female so every we have a male man and a female man I think that's the best way I can put it but the first thing that happened was that God brought them out like you like you take put a part of you and you remove it and use it to create a being now if we check to when we get to Genesis chapter 2, we'll see that uh Genesis chapter 2 from verse 8 7 say, and the Lord God formed man. So man was created and man was formed. Yeah, please note that man was created and formed. Not yet made. But when it got to woman, the Bible says, um, that's Genesis chapter 2, verse uh, 22. He said, Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib. So that's what I want us to establish in that place. So man was created and formed, not yet made, but woman was created and made, not yet formed. This is very important. This is even the foundation uh, uh, revelation to this teaching. Man was created and formed. But woman was created and made. Now it takes the word of God to form a man. And it takes obedience for man to be made. But now, woman was created, was not made, was not formed by any word of God. And was made. Man was created and made. Man was created and formed. Going to be made. A woman was created and made. And that was the, state, the reason for that statement that now God said, because it takes a man to be created, formed, and made. That is the complete syllabus. You have to be created, formed, and made. The making of a man is based on the uh the doing of what formed him because it takes the word of god to form a man when a man is formed that is when his eyes of understanding is established because adam was created in the light so he need to hear the light unveiling of light is what teaching of doctrine of christ is all about so he was created in no nothing then the Bible says, um, um, the Lord God. So the Lord God is the owner of the heart. God gave him the heart or to start from the garden. So to know how to take dominion over the heart. He needs someone, the owner of the heart, which is the Lord God, to teach him, to unveil. God to him. So when 
just like this teaching now is an unveiling if you finish this teaching and you have this understanding you are being formed so it is the water of the of the world that form a man it is the water of the world that form a man but it is the obedience to what you've heard that make a man when you've heard the word of god that you've been enlightened to to now do that thing my book says be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect so to be perfect you need to do what you've heard so man was created just to be brought out to the same both of them but man the lord god used to teach the man god no bible nothing he has god in him and he was planted in the garden and the word formation was that the owner of the garden and the owner of the heart psalm 22 24 verse 1 said the heart is the lord see the owner of the heart that is of the lord need to teach the manager of the heart how to run the heart i believe you all know this thing but let's just make it as foundation so now man was created then the bible says the lord god from the man from man of the dust of the ground i've already said before that to form of the dust dust means sufferings so adam had suffering we done a suffering you know man was created with the in the heart so to 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 understand god who can ascend you need to ascend and to ascend you need teaching of the doctrine of christ because the lord god at that time has not been called christ or jesus because he was the word of god so adam had the word of god in him he has the spirit of god in him i mean you don't believe the bible say and the lord god bred on his nostril and had a become a living soul a living soul the reason that jesus was a life giving spirit because Jesus finished his race, but Adam didn't finish his race. If Adam had finished the race, Adam would have become a life-giving spirit. He would have been given life. Because giving life means someone you have already accumulated God. God is the owner, is God is an is, is the life, the everlasting, is the, all life is God. So now when you have understanding, then you are alive. When you are alive, you were living before. You were, you, you were alive before, but when you have understanding of the word of God, then you have come into light. So, that is what is called formation. So, Adam was created and formed. And formed. He had the dealings of God. But Adam was now to now begin to do we're not talking about you know naming animals no this is not what we're talking about we're talking about understanding the honor of the heart understanding how to manage the heart understanding how to run the heart jesus said i'm here doing my father's business understanding how to do how to trade how to do business with you i'm not talking about business like we understand business because jesus was not doing trade and butter he was just giving life exchanging his life to all his followers giving them his life unveiling god to them unveiling christ to them so adam had the life of god and now he need to bible says faith come by hearing so you have to force hear, because you need faith to do what you've already heard to practice what God has taught you, you need faith in God to be able to put them into practice. So Adam was formed and he had dealings. He was formed because to come into the light of God. You're not talking about general light, like uh, how to plant yam or how to build a house. That's not, I'm not talking about that kind of life. Light. I'm talking about the light of becoming 
God of becoming Christ. So Adam had that dealings, had that sufferings, had that wilderness experience. Now, but as in he has a teaching, you cannot you cannot start driving a car if you don't have, if, you, if you not taught you the theory of how to drive a car. You cannot use your phone until you go to a manual and know read some things. You cannot even enter your house until you, they tell you that okay, this is the okay, this is the play. They more they must be theoretical. Uh, 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 light, let me put it because theories are light, these are things you're just hearing for the first time. So, that is the formation. It takes the word of God to form a man. Now, now take obedience in what you've heard to be made. But now, see a woman who was created, not formed, but was made. And because it takes creating, formation, and making to become a complete man. And that was why the statement came that uh, um, now man, uh, now, uh, this is my bone of my bones and my flesh of my flesh. So if the one that has been made but not formed has completed the one that has been formed, not made. So both of them have now become one flesh. Meaning that the one that has been made must come under the one that has been formed. But the one that has been made had not been made by God. It was, it was just, she was made just to complete that man at that time. And you can see how that statement says it is not good for man to be alone. Probably the or I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that is how it is, but probably the original plan was God wanted the man to be made before he will now bring the woman so that the man will be a complete being, the complete man. But the statement says ah, it is not good for man to be alone. Let's bring his wife or his woman to him. So that both of them can complete each other. Can you see? So now I discovered I discovered when I was praying for more understanding that woman was now my wife used to say something. He said, Do you know that a lady or a girl at the age of 10, 12 is more mature than a boy at that same age? And it's true. I reason with her. And that's why, another thing is that that's why women, they want something now. Most of them, they, unless they want to uh, obey her husband. Because man, Christ is the head of man. So, and this man that is this husband of her, yeah, must have been culture under Christ. Not just like uh, I'm the man, I'm this, no. As in you must have been trained by Christ. So, if that woman led under that kind of man, are you getting it? That uh, she doesn't behave on this kind of tradition I was talking about. Because most women they only think about now, about today. They will not remember the past. They remember the though they want a man that has vision. But most of because the purpose is why do they behave the way they behave? So now uh what the reason why God made them is where we are going now. Now God made God created and made a woman the same way in your were made. They used to say that angels are the sons of God is in the Bible. But they are not the sons of God like men. Even God cherish men than angels. The reason is that we men or we, yeah, we men we had to be formed before we will be made. But angels they are not being formed. They just, God created them and made them and woke up and begin to do 
Can you get it? They just woke up and begin to do. It didn't to please God because they were created and made. We got that answer through how God uh, described Lucifer. Ezekiel 28. Let's go there. Ezekiel 28 says, uh, Ezekiel 28, which is a popular verse. We all know Ezekiel 28. Ah, verse 13. It says, you were in Eden. I'm, I'm reading in NIV. I agree with NIV, but I started liking KJV. It says, you were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stones, every precious stone had done you. And he listed nine of them. Or let me read. There can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine of them. So out of twelve stones in the Bible, Satan alone was made or created by nine. And these stones are not just stones, all this gold and diamond you see on the ground. These are we're talking about uh when the Bible talks about the ill of the Lord, they are the Maturity of the 12 tribe of Israel. I don't want to go into that. But it has, it, it, it has, these stones have to do with uh, 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 stature, the spiritual stature. So, Lucifer was created to have stature. He was not grown like man to have stature. He got created him, he woke up and he began to do according to what had done him you see he say every precious stone i don't you carnelian crystallite emerald topaz onyx jasper lapid lazuli tenque and berry he now said your settings and mountain were made so now all these stones together were his settings and mountain they were made of gold he put everything together. So his settings, the way they said that thing, yeah. If you let's check something. If you check the breastplate of righteousness on the priests in the holy place, they have stones. Yeah. And at the midst of those stones, you know, have you heard about the city of gold in the book of Revelation before? So he said, when they set it hmm, and they hang it on you, see that one that was hung on you that thing that embed dead with that settings the mountain that embedded with the settings were made of, made of gold so now if you check these nine stones gold was not there but what made him to embed this thing in you is made of gold and this gold is not this raw materials physical gold we're talking about spiritual stature here Hallelujah. Because God signified divinity. Don't let us go there. You see, your settings and mountain were made of gold. So, through this Lucifer, we got to know that all the angels, they were created and they were made. Let's go again. He said, on the day you were created. So, we can see the word made and created. On the day you were created, they were prepared. Can you see? You were anointed as a... So, so Lucifer woke up. Man, you don't... You don't come to... You don't become born again today. And they have to anoint you. It's not possible. So, he woke up to... As a guardian angel that was anointed. He said, you were anointed as a guardian cherub. For, so I ordained you the day when they brought him out. He, be, he, he began doing his assignments. Because he was created and made. He was not formed. And Bible still recognized him as the sons of God. But we, to become sons of God, we need to learn obedience. All the 
teachings and the unveiling of Christ that God has taught us, we have to put them in practice. We have to, we have to put our flesh under uh, we have to subject our flesh to become sons of God. But they don't. They are sons. The Bible says the sons of God were mingling with daughters of men. They were sons. All these angels are sons. And that was why God still want to be with human beings than to be with angels. They are around God. But God can leave the whole heaven and come and live inside man. Because it takes the full syllabus is and the way the way they align must be created, formation and making, not just to jump from creation to making. And that was the reason God put woman under man. That you must respect or submit to your husband. That was why you see that women at the age of 10 or girl at the age of 10 is more mature than boy at the age of 10. Why? Because the women naturally they they they, they, they become mature like something is in them. And their eyes, they, they are fast in learning. They have this potential. So, now, now, when uh, Eve was made, to complete harder so that both of them can become one flesh. I saw that when most of us hear the word flesh, we only see negative flesh. No. Even the Bible says there yeah, are positive understanding to everything that is negative. Now the Bible says, and the word of God became flesh. This is not evil flesh. Jesus said, "If you don't eat my flesh, this is not evil flesh, because you cannot, you cannot have the life of God in you. Because if you eat the evil flesh, you still have life. You still have understanding. So now, a woman that was, or a lady, or a girl, or a female that was." Created and made, but not formed, must be under the leadership of the one that is formed. I believe I've established that. So, now, why is it that Satan had been in the garden for from eternity? But he never had any way to penetrate into man. But from Genesis 2 to 3, Satan came across Eve. And there was a connection. I believe you should know answer now. Because Satan, which was Lucifer in heaven, became Satan on heart, was an angel, was a cherub. He was created and made, no formation. That middle part was not there. So he saw someone that had the same framing like himself. So it was easier for woman to quickly pick from the same person that are like like beings. Because the woman was created and made, 
Lucifer was created and made. And this thing also, I want, let's go to the positive part of it. Go to any church today where there is a power of God. It's very easy for women in the church to quickly pick from angels. It's faster. Men will still be thinking, ah, what is this pastor saying? God, is this thing real? This church, is it? Okay. But the women can quickly pick because they are, they are for their makings are of the same way. And the reason I believe God made it like that was that <clears throat> the reason I believe God made them like that was that because all the angels, cherubim, seraphim, all of the angels, because cherubim and seraphim they are even higher than principality, power, rulers, and thrones, because those are angels in their different strata in height in their statues. But you see, cherubim and seraphim they are also higher than those ones, and they are around God, around God, and they do. They do holy, holy, holy every time. I believe the reason God made that is so. Let's say God, the Lord God is in garden, and the angels of God are there with him, like as entourages. Are you getting it? They can mirror their resources, their blessings into women. Which he can use like an advice to their husband. That was the reason. That was all the spirit told me. That's why I say you can see the script. The title looks simple or look harsh. What is what man want to say? So they can mirror. They can quickly pick from God. Let's say God sent an angels. Woman can quickly pick it. Go to churches. You hardly see men entering into the realm and begin to interpret tongues. You hardly. Have been to churches. You hardly, unless he's a man of God. Even a woman or a lady that just become born again last week can quickly pick from the presence of the angels. They can quickly, can, they are, even the one that have not become born again, they have eyes. They have eyes. So let's say God sent an angel to a family. 